Well, and now let's take this drawing one more time, starting with our oblique for a reference and that horizon line I gave you. And we're going to, um, well, we're going to make this in the two-point perspective. We're going to start with this corner, BF. We're looking at it from this corner. So imagine right there, I'm going to draw this vertical segment, BF. Then I've got to pick out a pair of vanishing points. Now, just to be fun, I picked one that's, well, vanishing point two, a little bit farther away than vanishing point one. That makes, gives it a little more interesting perspective. You would use this kind of perspective if you were, say, drawing a house. Oh, let's just get to it. Let's connect B and F to vanishing point one. So, there's B to vanishing point one, and there's F to vanishing point one. I pick a random point on there, which is trying to really display this, this length. And I could make it farther away, um, you know, something like that. And I'm going to take my straight edge, and I'm going to line it up with BF, slide it over there, draw another vertical line, showing that it's parallel to this one. Yeah, and that's going to look like that. And the, so the point where it intersects, we'll call that E. And, of course, you can see what's going on here. BF, well, in our flat space, is certainly longer than AE, but it's depicting the same length. This is a projection. Now we can finish it up a little bit. I'm going to make those a little more solid. So I've got, my, I've got these lines dashed. Um, you might use them in a very thin pencil. And I could shade this all in. And this is representing this face right here. So you can see the a little bit different. Well, let's go the other way. Let's connect B and F to the other vanishing point. So we take out our straight edge and we do that. And you see where this is going. Um, I'm going to need a point. I'm going to take point C. And let's suppose I put point C over here. That's this point C like this. I suppose if I wanted to make it look the same aspect, it might be, well, I want to put it there. Make it interesting. Draw another vertical. That is, line up with BF, slide your straight edge over, and draw a vertical line, which would look parallel. So that's your CG right there. You can finish off that face, the face that's in yellow over here. And maybe I'll shade it. And see, aha. I now have two of the faces of this figure. Well, now comes the tricky part. It's where students usually say, well, where do I go? Well, now you're going to take, you've got to connect your vanishing points. You're not done with those. A is going to connect, go across to vanishing point two. C is going to go across to vanishing point one. So it's going to look like this and like this. And what do you get? but an intersection right there. And you guessed it, A, B, C, that's D. That's the background. So let's see if I got that. And I'll draw in the rest of the figure. And uh, let me see, shade the top. So there's your three visible planes, three visible surfaces. And um, I think we're good. Oh yeah, let's, um, we can put in some, the right angles front face, the right face, and the top face. And, you know, just for good measure, let's put in a couple of these. Let's put in, yeah, let's put in some of these. You can put in your parallel lines. You can say AD parallel to BC, BC parallel to FG. And see if you use a different arrow. I can also say that FE parallel to BA, parallel to CD. Not bad. 